Hi, it's Heidi with Broadmeadow Farm. Today it's Monday, July 6, and I'm out here in the garden. I'll take you a little tour to see what's going on out here. It's super wet, we've got lots of dew, and the garden is still a little bit wet for getting in there for weeding. We've had, again, another bout of rain in the last week, and it's still pretty wet. So you can see, things have really grown since I showed you about a month ago. Let's take a look here at the strawberries. They're coming along really nice. They're filling out. Not sure if we'll get any berries this year. They are the first season, so I don't expect a whole lot. This variety is the Hecker variety, and they're a new variety for me. I've never grown them before. I've typically grown Seascape, and they will give you scads and scads of berries in the first year. Next up, we have our lettuce, and this here is Jericho Romaine. It's probably the best romaine I've ever grown. It gets super large. Then we've got some red leaf, maybe some butter crunch. I can't remember all the varieties, just some red leaf. Yesterday was the first day that we harvested some of our lettuce. And what I do when I do that is I just kind of come out and I cut off some of the leaves. I don't pull the plant completely. That allows the roots to just give you a second flush of plants. And then you don't have to plant near as many in your garden. Next up we have the potatoes and they are going crazy. Let's see if we can get a little closer. So they're already blooming. These are a red potato. So you'll probably notice if you grow potatoes, you will get a pinky purple flower if your potato is going to be red or purple and the flower will be white if your potato is a white potato. Next I have my bean row and they are growing amazing. We did actually have some deer come through and chew a few things off, but the ones that got left are doing really nice. Here you can see we've got some blooms coming. So we should get some beans here, probably the middle to the end of the month. Next up is my row of flowers. These are just annual poppies. Then we have a mix of Bells of Ireland and all sorts of other calendula, nigella, things like that. These are my kids' tomatoes. Yes, they're pretty small. We'll see if we get any fruit off of them this season. I really like to put tomatoes in a lot bigger than this, so I get tomatoes, but this is the kids' project this year, so we'll see what happens. I've got a bunch of onions here. In our previous video where I talked about you need to keep the weeds out because they can't compete, now you can see how they don't have really good leaf canopy for shading, so that's why you want to get in there. And when it's not quite so wet, I'll start pulling these weeds. Right now, it's just super wet, you can see here. So the peas are blooming nicely, and we even have some pods, so that'll be exciting. We should, these should fill probably within the next week or so, and I'll start picking. So yeah, here we've got the blooms. We've got the pods coming already. One thing I'll need to do this week is I'll probably need to come through again with some extra baler twine and just loop it in and around just to kind of lift up the canopy of the peas so that they don't flop down. We do have one rogue lettuce that probably came from seed last year but we're just gonna leave that in the middle of the row. An onion, again, that's kind of a volunteer onion from last year. Must have been a really little guy that we never pulled and then this spring when we rototilled, it got replanted. You'll see there's a couple more rogue onions as well and weeds in the pathway that need to come out this week. Here we have some beets. They were a bit of a last minute planting because this was actually my carrot row. But the week that we planted the garden, we had a bit of a downpour rain and it flooded the garden. And I think what happened is a lot of my carrot seeds washed out of this row into the pathway. And then when I was weeding, I probably hoed them all out. But beets will work good. They won't get really big this season, but they'll just be great for fresh eating. So here we have the carrots. You can see how I said that when we had them planted, we had a bit of a downpour. So that's why we've got lots of these open areas here. Lots of open areas here where they, the seeds washed out. But that's okay, we will take what we've got. 
This here is a bunch of volunteer dill that is growing from last year as well. Next up we have the cucumbers. It's been a really funny year this year for a lot of gardeners and cucumbers is the one that I'm hearing over and over from gardens that they planted cucumbers but the germination was really poor. So I actually had to reseed my cucumbers twice so that's why these ones are really little. We should be seeing cucumbers on them in August. Here I have a daylily and as well another one here. Last week I talked a lot about full sun perennials and this is one of those that works in full sun but also in partial shade. So this spot here gets not a lot of sun, maybe mottled sun right now here in the morning. It's about 7.30, maybe quarter to eight right now. These ones are just starting to bloom, whereas the ones on the front of my house that are in full sun are actually just finishing. I'm standing out here in the raspberry patch now, just checking things out a little bit. If you remember a couple weeks ago, it's probably actually in May, I did a spring raspberry clean out and we came out here and we cleaned up all of the quack grass that was there. We took out all of the dead canes. And then a couple weeks later, I actually went back in and talked a lot about how there was winter kill and how to clean up your branches for winter kill. Well, this patch has really filled in nicely. I am though losing the battle of the weeds out here and I'm kind of at a place right now where I'm just accepting the fact that the weeds are there and we'll deal with it in the fall when I can see them a bit more. But one of the beautiful things about a really strong established raspberry patch is that even though they did a lot of winter kill and I thought that they weren't going to come back, they actually are filling in beautifully. There's lots of flowers coming, even some fruit is starting to set in. What's nice about a raspberry patch though, like this is, even if it looks bad this year, next year we could have the potential of a really good bumper crop just because there's so many little guys starting to come in. Thanks for coming on my garden walk this morning. I hope you enjoyed seeing how the garden has grown since last month. And I wonder, how's your garden doing this year? Are you finding that we're getting too much rain? Are you in an area where we're not getting enough rain at all? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear how your garden is doing. We'll see you next week. Thanks for gardening.